Hi, my name is Lukas Winter from the PTB in Berlin, and I would like to present to you our project of a parallel transmission medical implant safety test bed. Our motivation is basically the following. Many patients carry medical implants. And if we want to perform MR exams from a safety perspective due to RF induced heating, uh, we need to be careful. Um, this is already challenging, and in the future we expect that even more of these implants will be present in the human body, which will make the situation even more challenging. So how can we, what can we do about it? Uh, one way is to use uh, parallel transmission techniques that are able to mitigate RF induced heating, while at the same time B1 imaging information is contained. However, to in investigate these techniques, we need some proper equipment, and at the moment, both uh, implant safety testing hardware and uh, parallel transmission hardware um, is not widely available in the scientific community. So here is what we implemented. We have a parallel transmit implant safety test bed consisting of uh, eight transmitters. We have a four channel receiver. We have an eight channel RF power amplifier that is broadband. And we have a positioning system that can work in a, a relatively big volume. The system is uh, easily scalable to more channels, either on transmission and on reception side. And then the next week, we will um, uh, publish all the files on opensourceimaging.org. So let's have a look at the individual components of the system. We have the console, which has a motherboard that has 10 PCI Express slots. And this allows to accommodate this um, transmitter or receiver cards that I will show you in the next slide. We have Linux on it, and we can basically control the transmitter receiver and the positioning system to do some automated mapping experiments. And here you can see on the bottom, you can see a GUI that is um, programmed in Python uh, that um, gives access to, to certain parameters. And we even have a very awesome <laughs> uh, loose hanging on and off switch that you can see on the top side with the pointing of the yellow arrow. For transmission, we use two of this 60-bit arbitrary waveform generator cards with a four channel per card. We have a sampling frequency of 625 mega samples per second, which gives a lot of flexibility on the frequency of choice. And then we have phase stable synchronization up to eight boards, which allows to scale the system up to 32 channels easily. For reception, we have four channels, 500 mega samples per second and 14-bit ADC. The RF power amplifier is broadband from 20 MHz to 1 GHz. We have 20 Watt per channel, so more than enough power for the implant heating experiments. And then inside the casing, you can see it at the assembly on the right bottom side. We added some blanking circuit and some manual TTL switch. The positioning system has a large working volume of more than half a meter in each dimension. It can carry heavy loads, which is important for um, heavier sensor conf configurations uh, or some extensions that you might want to put. The positioning arrow is uh, in a sub-millimeter range so that you, in principle, you can also do some 3D printing of this as demonstrated on the right-hand side. And uh, the this, this system can be controlled by Ethernet Bluetooth uh, or um, can also work standalone. Possible applications uh, of the system. Here's an example of RF coil validation measurements where we compare electromagnetic field simulations to measurements using a time domain H-field probe. And we can see some good results over here. We can also do some uh, 3D PTX mitigation experiments with implants, where an implant is positioned in this um, uh, seven Tesla PTX coil, and where we get basically a map at uh, different locations using these uh, techniques. And we can do these experiments either benchtop or at the scanner. Uh, of course, it depends on the, on the stray field of the Mars scanner. This is a three Tesla system. Um, and with such an extension, uh, we can also do um, multiple positions of this uh, time domain E field sensor that is located inside, uh, while the PTX system is um, plugged in outside to the filter plate. To conclude, we have a PTX system that is scalable to 32 transmission channels. We have a receiver, a multi channel receiver. Um, we can do experiments um, at all clinical field strengths and can potentially go even higher uh, using slightly different cards which would work with our setup. Uh, and we can do some automated mapping experiments in and outside uh, the Mars scanner inside a large volume. With that, I would like to thank you for your attention. And if you have more questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks.